if you'd like to talk about narrative problems with this story, like plot holes and things that seem to contradict other stories, please go to this episode's discontinuity discussion. Jacqueline Hill noticeably dries on a line in The Cave of Skulls, near the end of the final episode. When Ian and Barbara enter the TARDIS and talk with the Doctor and Susan, a boom mic can be seen for a few seconds. Before Ian gets zapped by the console, somebody in the studio calls out a cue for William Russell to make a pratfall. William Hartnell and William Russell interrupt each other whilst examining the TARDIS. The studio can be seen several times during the TARDIS console room scene in An Unearthly Child. At one point, a stagehand can be seen through a gap of around 10 to 20 centimeters in one of the corners of the TARDIS. The Great Stone is evidently made of sculpted polystyrene. The stone wobbles after being touched and at one point squeaks, as Za attempts to move it. When the doctor explains that he and Susan are wanderers in the fourth dimension, it is obvious that the wall behind them is fake, as it has creases and is piled up at the bottom. At the end of the episode, the caveman's shadow extends too far across the landscape.